The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde Oh, and what a wild hour of madness he had killed his friend. <laughs> that is Dorian Gray. There was once a time where he was pleased to be pointed out or talked about, but now he was sick and tired of hearing his own name. He began to think about how he had tarnished himself, filled his mind with corruption and evil. It was his beauty and his youth that had ruined him. Enough! His beauty had been to him but a mask, his youth a mockery. Better not to think of the unalterable past. James Vane was hidden in a nameless graveyard in the Selby churchyard. Alan Campbell had shot himself one night in his lab, but had not revealed the secret he had been forced to know. The murder of Basil Howard had been simply the madness of a moment, but Dorian could not forgive him for painting the portrait that had marred the rest of his life. No! No! It can't be! <laughs> The look of cunning, the curved wrinkle of the hypocrite. The thing was still loathsome, more loathsome if possible, than before. There was blood now even on the hand that did not hold the knife. I'll destroy it! It would kill the past, this monstrous soul life and its hideous warnings, and then I will be set free from this curse. The cry was so horrible in its agony that the frightened servants crept out of their rooms. There they found the untouched portrait of Dorian Gray and the wrinkled old man on the floor almost unrecognizable. It was only upon discovering the rings of his finger had they found out that it was Dorian Gray. <laughs>